this is where when they first come in, I make them stand up, cool. and then I take their height and I take a picture of their their faces and a picture of their residual limb, and then I log them in in the big book, and I sit them down. This is where we cast them. After we log them in and do everything, check their foot size and everything. See, that's the measurement for somebody's foot size. Too. So once we do that, we take the negative cast after we we've taken it, we bring it in here. This is the thing. See, I had it cleaned up. Once to look clean, but it's not that clean, right? So we bring it right here. Once we bring it here, what we do, we take that that negative mold. We change it into a positive. We pour plaster into it, you know, mix it with water, and then it's something like this. This is a BK, a yeah. below knee. I have to modify this one when I come back. Well, we use plaster. Yeah, we use to plaster to make the positive mold. Yeah. You know, we use the the, the casting plaster. Like, yeah. like you gotta cast something. You side. know, like yeah. yeah. And then once we do that, we bring it over. Like you can see this. Yeah. This was a hard, a rigid, like. Um, Poly form, co poly, regular co poly, you know, right here. Yeah, yeah. We put it in here oh, and then we put it. the socket in there, and everybody gets ready. We have those thick gloves. Once it gets real soft and it changes color, it becomes clear. We put it over, then it becomes this. Then we have to bust all the mold out of it, and then we put it on the prosthetic jig. But before we do that, this is what they call the Troutman router, that's what we smooth it in. So when the pe person is trying it, they won't get all these jagged edges. Yeah. We have to make mm. it real smooth. And then we put it on the prosthetic jig, use the laser and everything. Where is the laser? Should be here. Right. This is the, the cool stuff. That means if that person is uh, not needed, bow-legged, or they have like a contracture like five, 10 degrees, you try and do it. If they can't move their leg back too much, then you have to do it for them. So, so they're comfortable when they put on the prosthetic leg. And that's why we use this. This is like a self-leveling. Um, can you excuse me? Let me show you. This is a self-leveling uh, tool. You see, it it shows you exactly. So that means we don't make believe. You know, we try and do it exactly as it should be. You know, like right now, I will contract it, like make it a little bent. You know, go in a little bit. So when the person puts on prosthetic, they'll stand. If they're bow-legged, they'll stand. You know, like they stand. If they're not needed. We try and do it so they're comfortable, you know, because there are points of, you know, pressure where they can carry weight, where they cannot add, put weight. So once we do that, and then we test it on the person. Like this one, before I wrapped it up, I'm going to pour plaster into it again. Before I did that, I had to check to see if he had any problems. He felt a little pain right here, so I had to heat it up with the heat gun, you know, and, and make it comfortable oh, okay. if there were more problems I would have to probably push it in you know heat it up and push it in you know because we don't want it loose we want it nice and snug when they put it in mm -hmm. so once they're done with that then we pour the plaster again we take this out and then we smooth it up and make the last mold and the, the last cast which is the laminated we do it with these materials and we do it with fiberglass and something called composite resin it's very very hard and you know, it lasts a very long time. And then, this is where you guys want to take some pictures. We have the arm componentry in here. We have the feet. We have pylons, which are the knees. The pylons are the, you know, the which would stand for the tibia or fibula or whatever. You know, yeah, we have, we have some, you know, all different types of feet. We have different types of knees. And we have pediatric stuff and more mm -hmm. arm componentry in here, mm -hmm. if you guys want to look. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, you know, and we had the children in here. We had a few kids, so we had to use smaller feet. And these are the children's pylons and children's knees and stuff like that. And arm componentry for people who have, you know, upper extremity amputation. Yeah, do you color these? Because you're well, right, it most, most... Yeah, most of them come <laughs> like that. But so then color them? We, used, we used this strategy, we used hair dye. Oh, okay. And we painted them and put them out there oh, and let them dry. Like this and one, it looks yeah. real, yeah, it looks real brown. That one okay. came like this. Oh, okay. That's, a, that's, yeah, that one came like that. But the hair dye wouldn't do that. It will seep in and it will look Stay. real nice, right? Mm -hmm. And so, this is what I'm learning. So I'm not a full, you know, certified technician yet. 
That's why I'm going to the Dominican Republic tomorrow. I'm gonna take a, a course. Oh. Yeah, and on transfemoral, that means an upper, like above me. So I'm gonna have to do the crash course and try and do it right. So this is it, guys. That's great. Thank you. Yes. Once they do that, then we take them outside. You guys see the parallel bars. That's when the PTs do their work. You know, they help us out. They teach them how to walk with the leg and, you know, how to get comfortable with it. You know, the teaching starts as soon as they come in. We ask them about phantom pain. You know, like oh, yeah. sometimes when they feel like they get up, they would think the leg is there and they might fall because they feel it's still there. And so we talk to them about that. We tell them they have to exercise because they need the strength in the limb. And so it's 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 a new world and it's you know i enjoy trying to do my best to see if someone can walk again you know as opposed to being in a wheelchair all day so yeah i'm grateful that i had the opportunity so. to learn That's yeah nice.